In general, people in a tornado's path naturally run and shelter from it. So in most cases, an uninterrupted experience of the twister isn't easy to obtain from within its path. What you're about to see is footage from a probe deployed by the late storm chaser Tim Samaris and his team as an F3 tornado approaches it near the town of Webb in Iowa. They place the probe on the side of the road and drive away with just over a minute to spare before the tornado reaches the device. The experience is nothing short of hair-raising, but the tornado remained purely a scientific marvel, as no deaths or injuries were reported from the storm. This footage of the Didsbury, Alberta, Canada tornado has an eerie, ghostly quality about it. When it struck the area between the towns of Carstairs and Didsbury, it did so as the second strongest tornado in Alberta's history. More intense than 95% of Canada's annually recorded tornadoes. It received a rating of EF4 after destroying or damaging 12 homes along its path. Some of those left standing were later described as uninhabitable when the storm had passed. The cats aren't happy. <laughs> like it almost looks like there's almost a second one going there. Mm. I can see why these guys look good. <laughs> Holy crap, man. It's a Hummer. One of the most fearsome tornadoes of the 2011 super outbreak was an EF4 tornado that hit the towns of Coleman and Arab, Alabama. The video shows the tornado passing the northern outskirts of Arab just after it inflicted five of its six fatalities a few miles to the northwest. That's the actual tornado? Yeah. 
Yes. Shh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's right there. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. That policeman's down there right in the middle. Oh, dude. oh my god. Oh. oh. You have to be careful. Are you alright? Follow him? He's going to see Dr. Sabrina's head right first. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait a minute and then I'm going to follow him. Call Sabrina. The tornado does not strike the store where the spectators have gathered, but this tornado was just the start of Alabama's nightmare during the outbreak. Soon after devastating the city of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where it injured over 70 people, a tornado with a maximum rating of EF4 strength entered the nearby city of Petal, Mississippi, varying between EF2 and EF3 intensity as it did so. In the process, it was caught on camera by a firefighter named Richard Steele. At the same time that it closes in, on where he is standing. Uh, we got circulation heading back toward us now. The clouds over here. All right, Jacob, transforms. It's moving north, northeast. Thank 
fire copy. Send route 16. Appreciate it. Base three, it's headed right towards y'all. It just came right over the top of us. Yeah, Careful. DC two to thirty one. It should be behind Magnolia Bank. Can we help the bypass right now? Careful, BC. All right. Let's go see what we got, guys. After the tornado passes by him, with likely no more than a minute to spare, Steele went to work, assisting in disaster response. It was the first severe tornado in the immediate area in over 100 years. During the March 2023 tornado outbreak in the southern United States, Justin Hindman and another storm chaser recorded their encounter with a high-end EF4 tornado that mangled the town of Rolling Fork during the night of March 24th, killing 17 people. Oftentimes, only the road immediately in front of them is visible, with anything else being due to the storm's intense lightning. While the two chasers have a weather radar feed at their disposal, it only updates periodically, making the room for error smaller and smaller as they chase the roaring wedge tornado through the darkness. About a mile north of Rolling Fork. You're good. You're good, my man. You are doing great. Just keep going. Radar Come on. image. Radar image. Light it up. Radar image is about a, only a minute old, so we're good. We got a fresh. That's it. I see it. I saw it. Saw it? Yes. That see base. it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's north of us. We, it's so far north of us. Uh. I disagree. I think the beginning of it's 2.3 miles. Hold on. The base, the base is definitely not far. Oh, wow. The backside of it's definitely not. I mean, it's wide. It's not no. No, it's not small. They're good. Trust me, we're good. Yeah, we're. Just, but I would take it slow from here. Cause that's 801. That's 802. Yeah. That's it though. Look keep it. going, keep going, keep just no, 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 no. You're, you're, look, there's, there's trees. There it is. I'm not. Yeah, pull like 20 feet forward. The trees are blocking. There's tr okay. It's over in yeah, there. I see it. That, that's the right edge of it. You see it? Yes, I see the right edge. Right over there where the curtain is. Yeah. This is just on reserve keep it more of a lot. I know, I know. Oh my goodness. Rolling Fork's gonna get forked. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Cars are just stopping. Hit your wipers, hit your wipers. What are people doing? Just move, they're just trying to warn. We 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 know. We know. We're storm chasing. We're storm chasing. Let's plant the best one. Yeah. Oh, I saw a transformer. I saw a transformer blow. All right. Unfortunately, it's across something. Taylor, just keep going. Two miles right over there. That's pretty close. We're fine. I promise. I don't want to die. Trust me. But We're fine. Oh, there was a train. Did you see that transformer? Oh, I'm missing. Okay. Well, it was. See that one? It's way far ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down, slow down, slow down. We got to slow down, got him. What's happening? They just. Come on. Yeah, and it's new radar update. It's across the road. I 
Well, I think it might. Just, yeah, I would just take it easy. You need to go up. It's 805. Just, five you're five. in their lane. Easy, easy. Be careful, you might be off the road. I can't see. Tell you're off the road. 